Welcome back to another video. So this is Code Forces round 845 div 2 and the problem is everybody likes good arrays. So let's quickly jump into the problem. So they are telling that uh, you have an array A and okay we have an array A and array A is good if all the pairs of adjacent elements AI and AI plus 1 are of different parity. Okay we have an array A and uh, all the pairs of adjacent elements this is an adjacent element, this is an adjacent element or of different parity. What is meant by parity? Parity means either the state is odd or even. So if all the numbers, if the, all the adjacent numbers are of different parity, then the array is good. So here let's say odd even and 3 is odd and 4 is even and 5 is also odd. Is this a good array? Yes, because all the adjacent elements are of equal parity. So what can be a case that is wrong? So let's suppose 2, 4, 6, even, even, even. This is not a good array because an array is of same parity. Okay. Note that an array of size 1 is trivially good. Obviously. So if there is only one number, uh, let's say 10, it is having even and doesn't have any adjacent element. So it's eventually a good array. They are telling that you are given an array of size n. Okay. We are considering the size also as n. In one operation, you can select any pair of adjacent elements. Okay, I am selecting any pair of adjacent elements in which both elements are of same parity. I can't select here. So let's take one more example. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. Uh, you can select any pair of adjacent elements in which both elements are of same parity. Yes. Delete them and insert their product in the same position. 1, 1, you delete it and insert their product. That is 1 again to the same position. Okay okay i can do it that is one operation find the minimum number of operations to form a good array they gave you a rule to perform and eventually at the end of it the array should be of this format odd even odd even or even odd even odd that is an odd should not have an odd member and an odd member and even should not have an even member and an even member it should be either odd even odd even just think about like boy girl boy girl and they don't want boys and boys to be together so that's what the funny part of the question is about so let's try to solve it with this example that is one one two two three so this is so before that you want to know like what are the rules that are applicable right if it's the same parity so let's say odd odd so if both numbers are odd if you take the product of it then we are pretty sure that the result also will be odd Okay, because we take the numbers of same parity which are adjacent and take the product of it. If we take the product, it will be an odd number. If you take even cross even, if you take product of two even numbers, you always get an even number. Alright, odd into even is an even number, but we don't care in this case because we always take numbers of the same parity. One more thing. Suppose let's say this is the example that is 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. What is the parity of this? That is first one is odd, 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 even, 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 odd. So the best way we can do is the number if we want this to be good, we just make odd, even, odd. There should be only three numbers. How do we reduce this? We'll follow the operation. We'll take two adjacent elements, take the product of it that is 1, and from the result again 1 is also an odd number by this rule take the result of this take the product again 1 okay from these three we did two operations to get the result one more thing is they are not asking value anywhere here so in order to further simplify this we'll write only the parity okay now odd into odd is odd odd into odd is again odd okay odd into even doesn't matter it is already good here even into even is even and odd will simply drag it down we are not performing any operation so what do we get from here if there are x number of odds or x number of evens you get x minus 1 operations you have to perform x minus 1 operations so if you have 1 2 3 4 4 odds together you need to perform 3 operations so that means 3 Okay, so 3 is the total number that you need to add. In order to make it to 1 odd number, you need to perform 3 uh, product operations. That's all. So now let's just quickly uh, go through the questions example what they gave. So here 
if you see right it is like they gave you five numbers that is odd 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 even and odd what did i tell you if there are three odd numbers you need to perform two operations to make it look like odd that is one into seven is seven seven into eleven is 77 so you perform two operations now only one odd left odd even odd so that's why two one two three four odd even odd even it's already good we don't have to perform anything one one two two three it's the uh, one that i did earlier example same so that is also clear so now let's quickly go through the solution on how did i solve it so before like that i'll just quickly walk you through this this is the solution number if you want you can refer this let's go now we'll take uh, what did we take we take the input numbers this is the size we took we stored these numbers okay in a vector now what am i doing let's take the same example i am just iterating through the adjacent elements i am iterating through this so first i equal to 0 and i plus 1 why did i do this so this this is an interesting part we can solve this in many ways but uh, this is something that i saw in most of the solutions and it's very impressive v of i mod 2 v of i mod 2 gives the result as either 0 or 1 right if it's an odd number it gives 1 let's say 1 mod 2 equal to equal to next number mod 2 so this is also odd number it gives 1 1 equal to equal to 1 that means that it is true okay this means this is an odd number you count count should be incremented count is the result count becomes 1 so that means logically what happened is instead of this it took the product and made it as 1 okay now i equal to 1 it goes to the next number that is second number i mean the product happened but we are now in second number second number third number this is also of the same parity odd into odd odd equal to equal to odd the result value is true if we convert it to integer it is 1 so 1 plus 1 count becomes 1 now i becomes what i becomes 3 now the second index 0 1 2 it compares with v of i mod 2 which is 1 equal to equal to v of i plus 1 mod 2 this is 0 so 1 is not equal to 0 right so this condition is false count plus equal to 0 so you saw see here right one pattern 1 2 3 3 odd numbers are there we got the result as 2 now again 2 is here it goes to the, the pointer goes here and it checks for the i plus 1th value this also gives value as 0 because it's an even number i plus 1 also gives you a value of 0 and 0 equal to equal to 0 it's a true so if 0 equal to equal to 0 this is true and when we convert it to integer you are incrementing with 1 okay so here two even numbers are there that is x even numbers we are telling x minus 1 Op operation should be performed so this is the one and one more thing after uh, this is done we again increment 2 is what even and this is odd so again this is already good so according to this logic even is not equal to equal to equal to odd that's false so you do 0 so 1 2 3 so now you got the count value as 3 so that is the solution that they gave here as well so I hope uh, it's a very easy problem. So if you have any doubts, just feel free to uh, ping in the comments and please share your valuable feedback. Thank you.